Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we're gonna go over a leak code problem and today's problem is the number of good pairs problem. So I would like to talk about the description and then give an example and then we'll go over the coding solution. And this time I'm going to actually draw it out to hopefully make better sense. So let's read through the problem. It says, given an array of integers nums, so that's our set of numbers, a pair i and j is called good if nums at position i is equal to nums at position j, and i is less than j. Return the number of good pairs. So essentially what they're saying is they position i is your first number in a set, and position j is another number in a set. And what they're saying in the second part of it, the, they want those two to equal, that will be a pair, but the left, the i cannot be greater than the j. So basically what we're gonna do is go through the loop and i cannot be after, so you can't count it twice. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so let's take a look at an example, input of nums. So what they give us is one, two, three, one, one, three, and the output is four. And it says there are four good pairs, zero and three. So let's take a look at that. Position zero, which is a one, and position three, which is also a one. So that's one good pair. Position zero, which is one, and position four, that's another good pair. Position three and position four, that's another good pair. And position two and position, or sorry, position two, and position five, three, that's another good pair. So our total number of good pairs is five or four. And another one, another example to hopefully not to confuse you, they give you four ones. And how that looks is position zero and position one, that's a pair. Then this position and this position is a pair. And then also this position and this position is a pair. Then this position and this position is a pair. And then we move on to this one and this one, this one and this one, and this one and this one. Okay, so that gives us a total of number six pairs. So how are we gonna do this? Well, there's two ways to do this. One is you could do a loop through the array, and you have to loop through twice, through i, grab your i, and then grab your j. That's a time complexity of O n of squared, so you don't really wanna do that for the uh, time complexity. This is gonna be in Python. What you wanna do is actually store it in a dictionary. So let me, uh, let's go to the iPad here, and I'll kinda of draw it out, so hopefully this will make sense. So let's grab our numbers here nums nums is e uh, one two one two three one one three All right, so what we're gonna need to do is set a couple variables. So first we want a counter. And we're gonna set that to zero. And so we'll count the number of pairs as we go through this. Then we want a dictionary. And that's gonna be just a couple braces. And then we'll start adding a key and a value. So the first value is a key, is a key and then the value. So that's our first two that we want to set. Now we're going to start our for loop. So it's going to be for i and nums. So we're going to start looping through this set here. Okay, so our first position is right here, and that's going to be our i. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check. So we're going to do if i in the dictionary at position i. So right now it's empty. We don't have anything in our dictionary. So what I'll do is I'll just pass for now. And then we're gonna do else. So yeah, 
let me go over that again. So if I in dictionary at position I. So really what we're saying is, is it in the dictionary? No, we don't have it in the dictionary. A position I meaning is this key uh, one, two, three, is that in there? So we'll get to that on the next one. So we're just gonna pass, we'll do an else statement. And what that is, is dictionary at position I is equal to one. So since it's not in the dictionary now, we're gonna take I, which is one, and that's the value. And then we're going to add one to it. So we're gonna set the value to one. So we have one and it occurs one time. All right, so that's the, four, that's the first one. And then we're gonna move the position over to two. Okay, so we'll go in here. So is two in the dictionary? No, we'll pass. So we're gonna to add two to the, to the dictionary. Then we'll move the position over. Is three in the dictionary? No, so we'll add that one. Then we'll move it over. Is one, yes, we saw it there. So what we're gonna do We'll write our rest of it in here. So what that looks like is counter. So we're gonna start counting because we saw the duplicate pair and we'll do plus equals and then the dictionary at position I. So we're gonna plus equal, what is that value there? One. So we're gonna add this to the counter. Let's just erase this and do one. All right, and then after we do that, dictionary at position i plus equals one. And what that does is we're gonna add a value here and this has occurred two times. All right, now let's move over another position. Oh, we have another one. So we see this two times, so we're gonna add two to this number. So we're gonna get three and then we're gonna add this, increment this one to three. All right, and then we're gonna move over to the position here. And we see that we've had three in the key value pair once, we're gonna add one. So that would be four. And then, sorry, I forgot to do that. And then this would be two. All right, and then we've gone through the entire array and so we can exit out of here and we can return our counter. And our counter is four. So if we look over here, our expected output is four. So let's go ahead and run it, make sure that it runs. So yeah, we got, uh, yep, it looks good there. Let's go ahead and run. And it's success. Now I do wanna go over this uh, second example so you just kind of get an idea of how that one works. So in order for to do this, let's start, let's start our counter over in our dictionary. So this is zero and we're gonna have that empty. And then let's uh, erase all that. So what they give us is four ones. One, 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 one. All right. So same logic. Let's just do the example. So here's our counter. One, it's not there, so we're gonna enter one. So it would be key value one, one. All right, well, let's move it over. It is there, so what we're gonna do is increment this counter to one and add one to that. So now we're two ones. Let's move over one. Okay, we have another one. So we're gonna add two to this, so that's gonna be three. And we're gonna increment this one to three. And then we add over here. We have another one, so that's gonna increment here, so that'd be six. And then this would be four. So our output is six, and that's our output is six. Hopefully that helps and makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And I had fun uh, making this video as a problem solving. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. So long.